Hello, welcome to Parallel Science and Maths TV. In this video, we are solving for the value of x. To do this, we are going to apply one of the properties of logarithm, which states that log to the base of a of b is giving us log to the base of 10 of b all on log to the base of 10 of a. So let us verify this law by assuming a to be 2 and b to be 4. So this gives us log to the base of 2 of 4. And according to the property, it is the same as log to the base of 10 of 4 all on log to the base of 10 of 2. Now, log to the base of 2 of 4 is 2. And this also gives us 2. You can pause the video and verify. Now, what we are going to do now is that we are going to reduce the equation using the property. Now, to do that, now, log to the base of 2 of x minus 1, according to the property, can be written as log to the base of 10 of x minus 1 all on log to the base of 10 of 2. And this is also equal to, from the law, this can also be written as log to the base of 10 of x plus 5 all on log to the base of 10 of 4. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to rearrange this equation such that all logarithm of numbers on one side and logarithm of expressions on the other side. So what I'm going to do is that this will move and then that will come. So we are going to get log to the base of 10 of 4 divided by log to the base of 10 of 2. And this is equal to log to the base of 10 of x plus 5 all on log to the base of 10 of x minus 1. Now log to the base of 10 of 4 divided by log to the base of 10 of 2 is 2. And this is equal to log to the base of 10 of x plus 5 all on log to the base of 10 of x minus 1. So, what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to cross multiply. Now, if I cross multiply, I'm going to get 2 log base 10 of x minus 1 is equal to log to the base of 10 of x plus 5. Now from the law of logarithm, if you have if you have n log a b, this is the same as log of a b exponent n. So what it means is that 2 log to the base of 10 of x minus 1 can also be written as log to the base of 10 of x minus 1 all squared and this is equal to log to the base of 10 of x plus 5. So what is going to happen is that I'm going to bring all logarithms to one side. So I'm going to get log to the base of 10 of x minus 1 all squared minus log to the base of 10 of x plus 5. And this is equal to zero. Now, from the from the law of logarithm, if I have log of a b minus log of a c, this is the same as log of a into bracket b over c. So you are going to apply this one here. So I'm going to get log to the base of ten of x minus 1 all squared divided by x plus 5 and this is equal to 0. So what I'm going to do now is that 
we are going to find the antilog. So let me rewrite the previous equation. So we got log to the base of 10 of x minus 1 all squared divided by x plus 5. And this is equal to 0. So what we are going to do is that we are going to remove the logarithm so that we can be able to find for the value of x. To do that, we are going to find the antilog of both sides. And antilog simply means that this log will be eliminated by raising the base to the exponent of the zero. So we are going to get x minus one all squared all divided by x plus five and this is equal to 10 exponent zero. So we are going to get x minus one all squared divided by x plus five and this is equal to one since any number exponent zero is one. So what we are going to do is that we are going to get x minus one all squared divided by x plus five is equal to one. And this is the same as, now let me expand the exponent. So I'm going to get x squared minus two x plus one. And this is equal to cross multiply. So I'm going to get x plus five. So this is a quadratic equation since the highest exponent of x is two. So I'm going to rewrite this whole equation. So I'm going to get x squared minus two x grouping like terms minus x that is transposing this one here plus one minus five is equal to zero. So this gives me x squared minus three x minus four is equal to zero. So now what we are going to do now is that we are going to look for two numbers that when we multiply, we'll get negative four. But when we add or subtract, we get negative three. And these numbers are negative four and positive one. Since negative four times positive one gives us negative four and negative four plus one gives us negative three. So I'm going to replace negative three X by negative four X plus one X. So this is X squared minus four X plus X minus four is equal to zero. So let me factorize this two. So this gives me X into bracket x minus 4 plus 1 into bracket x minus 4. All is equal to 0. So we are going to get x plus 1, x minus 4. And this is equal to 0. So x plus 1 is equal to 0. And hence x is equal to negative 1. Then x minus 4 is equal to 0. And hence, x is equal to positive 4. So now what we are going to do is that we are going to test these values into the question. So if x is equal to negative 1, we are going to get log to the base of 2 of negative 1 minus 1. So we are going to get negative 2 here. Now log to the base of a negative log to the base of a number of a negative number does not exist. What I mean is there is no negative logarithm. And so X cannot be equal to negative one. So this solution is out. Now let's test using X is equal to four. Now, if X is equal to four, we are going to get log to the base of two of four minus one is three and log to the base of four, 
4 plus 5 is 9. Now, from the calculator, this gives us 1.585. And this also gives us 1.585. And therefore, since x is equal to 4 satisfies the equation, the value of x is x is equal to 4. Thank you for watching this video. And please don't forget to like and comment in the comment section. Then also subscribe to this channel. Thank you.